Um, in this section, in section 3.36, we have uh, the last uh, tense, which is the future. Uh, if you remember uh, about the uh, uh, tense uh, time or time uh, line of the time, this is the period, the past, we call it the past, and this is now or the present, and what comes here is what we call the future. So future, what is coming, not behind or not now. This uh, future can be represented according to the meaning into three cases. Either we are talking about a prediction from the verb predict, or what we call to express a prior plan, sometimes if we want to uh, uh, express uh, a prior plan, or we call it intention, for example. And finally, if we want to express willingness, means we wish or uh, hope to uh, do something. So uh, to express a prediction, in this case, it is possible to use either simple, say future, or um, uh, we, call, we don't uh, call it simple future. Let's say call it either by using will or by using going to. Why? Simply because a future represented by two main, but others. Now we say two main, but still we have other forms. Either by using will or using what? Going to. This is the, uh, these are the main, but still we have, anyhow. So in case we are talking about a prediction, it is possible to use either the wool form, wool or shell, or going to form. For example, if we say, according, according to the news, for example, it here to rain, for example, tomorrow, tomorrow. So, if we say according to the news, this is a, it has a meaning of what a prediction, to predict, to not book. So if we have a meaning of prediction, we say according to the news, it will, we can say it will rain. It is possible to say it will rain, so rain again, again repeated, it will rain tomorrow. Or, again, according to the press, or according to the news, we can say, it is, say, going to what? It is going to rain? It is going to rain what? Tomorrow. So, in case we are talking about the prediction case, we can use both cases, which, one, which is will or uh, going to form. The second case, if we want to, or if we express about the uh, uh, prior plan or planning or intention no now it is or we use only what going to so planning we say for example we say Laura is going to paint her for example room what say blue see Laura is going to paint with T, her room a blue. Here we have prior planning. Of course, if you want to plan uh, to to uh, say uh, paint your room or house, there is a planning. You have to buy the 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 the, uh, the colors. We have to uh, 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 prepare the room or the place that you want to paint, etc. So here we say because there is a meaning of prior planning or intention. So we use what we use is going to. We say is going to paint her room uh, according to the other color. So or it has a meaning of willingness. Willingness means to uh, we wish. For example, uh, I wish. For example, I wish Iraq. Well, I think let's say it better. I think Iraq. I think Iraq. Well, say, uh, win the match. Here, say, it has a meaning of willingness, desire, that we wish something to, have be, to be happened or to happen in the future. I think Iraq, what, will win. So in case of willingness, we use only the form what? We use the form will. 
So the two main then, then in brief again, the two main forms for the future by using wool plus say verb or going to plus verb, we use them according to the meaning of the future. Here we have uh, three types of uh, uh, meanings, either according to the prediction, to predict something will happen, or according to the planning, intention, prior, before, <coughs> or to express what willingness. So in case of prediction, in this case you have to know, recognize what type of future we have. So if we have prediction, it is possible to use either will or we use the going to. Or in case you feel or you uh, that there is a planning, prior planning, in this case we use what? Going to, as we have this example. And finally, if we have uh, a meaning of fullness, desire, of, in this case what? I think Iraq will win. Means we have a desire that Iraq will, will in this case we use will, then what? Will plus the verb will. And these are the cases of future according to the meaning.